Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polar. In today's data culture video, we're going to take a look at the importance of champions inside your community. Let's take a look. As I've mentioned in previous videos, a lot of what we present in this series is based on what I see and what I've learned from successful enterprise organizations working with Power BI at global scale. And one thing that I started to see emerging from my conversations with these customers is that they talk about champions inside their community whose job it is not to build BI solutions and to build the community from the bottom up, but they do it anyway. And I started to see a theme in how these champions were described or named. Some organizations, like more than one for each of these categories, but some organizations would refer to them as ninjas. So these are my Power BI ninjas. Others would refer to them as their Power BI Jedi. And others still would refer to them as their Power BI Rangers. And I started to see a pattern emerge, and I'm not sure if you can notice this or not, but the key characteristic for all of these labels is recognizing that champions have swords. Maybe it's just me. Whether or not the champions in your organization actually literally have swords, it's probably not as important as the other things that they do. Now a champion, the way that I'm describing it today, is someone who goes above and beyond their core job responsibilities to build applications, to develop their own knowledge, and to share that knowledge with other members of the community. Hopefully, as I'm saying this, you are already thinking of someone in your organization who does this. And maybe it's you. You know, having a random YouTube channel with a series on data culture, it's not everybody who builds Power BI solutions that would be here in the first place. So maybe you are part of that center of excellence looking for ideas, but maybe you are part of that global community that is looking for ways that you can make a bigger difference. Regardless, the champion is someone that the organization can choose to acknowledge and empower and reward, or they can choose not to. Either way, it's a choice. And in many ways, it is a test of the organization. Because if someone is doing things and delivering value that they're not being required to, the organization can either choose to ignore it and let it continue or not. They can choose to quash it and say, that's not your job, focus on the things that I've asked you to do. Or they can choose to say, you're going above and beyond. Here, let me share additional tools, additional resources, additional channels of communication to make it so that you can have a bigger impact. And hopefully it's obvious that the last one, you know, one of these things is not like the others, that last approach is the one that will be successful in the long term. Successful, mature organizations have a natural talent development pool because when there are centers of excellence, when the people responsible for Power BI in the enterprise recognize and identify a new champion emerging, they will bring them into the conversation. They will share things earlier with them, maybe give them earlier access to tools or resources or, or features than they, they would for other users in their, in their job role, in their position. And because of this, it is a way to bring them in to increase the value that they can deliver and to make it more likely that they will do the same things in the future. This general pattern of seeing someone who is making a difference, recognizing and empowering them, uh, is, is a common best practice across many different organizations. So the names that I had at the beginning of the video are actual names that I hear actual global enterprise customers using to describe these people, and each one of them has their own way to say thank you and to encourage future behavior. One of the most common concerns that I hear, 
And typically these concerns are coming from the less mature, uh, less data-centric organizations is, well, what if these people, what if they leave and go join uh, IT or what if they, you know, they leave the position where they are the, the, the chief analyst or, or other self-service BI user? What do I do then? To which I say, imagine what it would be like if you had someone inside IT, someone as part of that core BI team who understood your uh, priorities, your processes, your tools, your data, your motivations, if someone in IT understood that as well as this person who is currently reporting to you understands it today, but they had the training and the tools and the skills and the authority to take that knowledge and that insight to the next level. That's what comes from promoting and growing your champion. So sometimes the ranger becomes the king, if I can riff back on the, uh, the Lord of the Rings reference. But the most important thing to keep in mind as well is that this promotion is part of a natural growth path. And those users may very well, if you don't give them that path inside your company, they will look for opportunities outside of that company, or outside of your company. And... If you do have a path for growing talent, time and time again, what I see, what I've experienced both in my own career and working with customers in my current role is that when one person is promoted and is able to pursue their, their passion and their vision and to make more of a difference, the people that before were standing behind him or behind her, they can now step forward and fill that role. This is a way to demonstrate if you do this work, the doors will open for you and you will have more opportunities to grow your career in the organization and to have more value. You'll see it again and again and again. Hopefully this is valuable. Hopefully uh, it was good to have a shorter video than the last one. Either way, we will see you next week. Thanks again.